What up guys, That Comic Awesome here with another review doing Old Man Hawkeye number two. Um, and I like it. Uh, I would highly recommend this series. Uh, move the needle on this. This is the kind of books um, we definitely want on the shelves. It's a really good classic uh, story. Kind of has a uh, modern steampunkish uh, westerny vibe to it. Kind of, you know, just like uh, Old Man Logan. Uh, this is set five years before that, which um, this is uh, 45 years into the future. Uh, the Red Skull has wiped out all all or most of the superheroes um, and has divvied up the United States into territories run by villains. Uh, Hawkeye finds out he is going blind. So in that, he decides to go on one last like suicide mission to kind of take down these villains um what i like is this is 45 years in the future after a major super villain has destroyed everything and you get this desolation not like captain america where it's been seven years into the future and apparently uh no one can live without the government or whatever and it just turns to crap Anyway, this is good. So we kind of start off um, the beginning of the last issue. Uh, Hawkeye had been running uh, like security for people, uh, uh, running smuggling through the canyon. So Jebediah Hammer, um, kind of big in the area, he uh, was smuggling money or uh, smuggling goods uh, in between territories. Hawkeye was running uh, kind of security for him. Ended up taking out a, a large group of villains, kind of putting him on the Marshal's radar. So now the Marshal is coming for Jebediah for answers. And I kind of like this scene with his wife. He's like, look, we got to go. And she's like, look, we're going to celebrate. Let's not worry about it. Uh, we have a son. He's super strong. He, you know, he protects us. Nope. No, he doesn't. And I like the Marshal. The Marshal... <clears throat> The Marshal kind of reminds me of like uh, the Man in Black from Westworld, um, and I'm I mean more of like the Man in Black from the movie Westworld than the show, uh, where he's kind of part robot. He just is a killing machine. You get this like again the art in this is good too. Uh, Marco Cecchetto, um does a really good job. Pardon if I. Uh, screw the pronunciation of that up but you got all these like nice little details even to the point like here the the reflection of light in the blood and you have it on the table again just the light coming in and he's just sitting there this was probably one of my favorite panels so he's questioning him he's like look this badge gives me the authority i'm the one that's gonna um ask some questions you know you're, he's like, you didn't kill those, you know, the Mad, the, the Mad Rocks gang. Uh, who did? Somebody had to have, and it wasn't you. So then we cut to Hawkeye kind of doing his best, like, Obi-Wan impression. So he kind of goes into Outside Hammer Falls. There's a club run by uh, Mr. Orb, which I believe in Original Sin, Mr. Orb was one of the... Um, he came into possession of the Watcher's Eye, which gives him the ability to see kind of big events coming. So Hawkeye goes to uh, his club. And I don't know if they did this because of just like the art style, like to make it look old Westy, but like when it's in here and like scenes with him, they kind of make it hazy. And I wonder if that's like his vision, like because his vision is kind of going he can't see, you know, it's kind of a little hazy um, for the reader. And I kind of like that, you know, I like that style, I like that decision. Um, so he's obviously here to question Mr. Orb. Uh, and he freak, you know, Mr. Orb freaks out. He's like, look, I know who that guy is. Like, call the guards because um, he recognizes um, Hawkeye from his younger days. And again, he kind of, you know, has that OB-1 look, which is pretty badass. And he's, of course, going into, like, the ruffian bar, which... Uh, Reminds me of, uh, I was that bar on Tatooine that, uh, that Luke and, uh, Obi-Wan went to and found Han. Anyway. 
so back to Jebediah. He's um, being questioned by um, the marshal. And he kind of, I like this scene, you know, what the marshal has to say. He's like, um, is this garlic? I'm sensing uh, you made this brisket with the uh, garlic. And she's like, yeah, garlic and paprika. He's like, I knew it. He's like, of course I can't taste it. Uh, I can't taste the garlic and paprika. I'm registering the chemical composition in the meat, uh, but I don't know what it tastes like. It's been so long since I've tasted or felt anything. Makes no, uh, Make no mistake, if and when I kill you and your wife, I wouldn't feel one bit of remorse. So it's kind of like he's at the point now, even though he looks like a man, he's like so much more machine than man. He's like, look, I'm not going to hesitate. Quit messing around with me because obviously... Um, Hammer is trying to like lie to him and not tell him um, where Hawkeye is. So of course he tries to do um, pull a Han Solo, draws his draws his gun, but unfortunately uh, Guido shoots first and this time doesn't miss. Which is again like the art on this, I really dig it. You know it feels this fits so much the tone of the book. And I love it. Then you get this like really badass fight scene, uh, which shows again still how badass Hawkeye is as a um, as a fighter. You know, within hand to hand and um, with his bow and arrow, you get a nice uh, some fight scenes. And this is what I love too, because again he's starting to to go, chip chip, boom, and he misses. And he's like, "Come on, man, you gotta focus." And he kind of does that one or two more times where he's um, he's trying to uh, hit, you know, shoot and he misses. Uh, I think that'll kind of go on to be um, the one of the cruxes of the story. But I like this. So he finally gets to Mr. Orb, and he said, "You know, did you you know did you see that one coming?" And he kind of goes back to this is what then Mr. Orb sees when he sees Hawkeye because he's able to with the watcher power kind of see this and I really like this and it said we killed we killed off all the real heroes and you know you have all of the these heroes dead um, you know you have uh, um, Black Widow Scarlet Witch I mean even like down the like you have Thor's hammer here Iron Man, Quicksilver. Um, I couldn't figure out who that was, but it's just, again, a lot of really neat detail. And again, I really like the art direction of it. And, you know, Mr. Orb's like, look, I didn't know that, like, that's how it went down or that's how it was going to go down. He's like, look, I don't care. That's not what I'm here. I just want information. I want to know where they are. And he explains to him that he can't, the, the Watcher's eye doesn't work like that. It only sees uh, world changing events. Um, so I, he can't see exactly, you know, exactly who he's looking for. So he pays for the, the bourbon and kind of leaves. Um, I'm going to cut it out there, but like, I highly recommend this. Um, please go buy it. Keep books like this coming out. Um, but yeah, definitely a read, uh, subscribe over here, watch some more videos, uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you next time.